Hi, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Tracy Mahan, and this is a channeling segment with Octurian Daniel and friends. And today's intention is there's a lot of things going on right now, but I know the energy is shifting. I know it's shifting because we just got out of Mercury retrograde, full moons, all that good stuff. We're, we're going into a time where all the planets are direct, nothing's in retrograde. So I'm kind of wanting to check into the energy because I know a lot of you guys have been talking about being tired, going through big struggles in life, having challenges, just feeling like you're hitting your head against the brick wall. And I just have to say, you know, it's happening everywhere. It's happening here. It's happening everywhere. And lots of lots of that coming in and lots of people feeling like there's heavy energies just looming. And so I, I kind of want to see what Daniel's got to say about that. All right, so let's go find out what Daniel has to say about what's going on with the energy right now, okay? <clears throat> well, many of you, many of you, many of you, many of you have been going through this phase of change, phase of change. We told you many times now, a big time of change coming, big time of change. And the change is here. The change is now. You've been going through it. It's like a rebirth, a rebirth. And we all know labor pains are not fun, are they? They're not fun. And a lot of you have been going through life school, as one might say, learning, learning, learning. You're learning techniques. You want to enhance your psychic abilities. You want to enhance your gifts. And, and sometimes that comes with the challenges that come with it. And I want to be more I want to be more psychic or I want to become a medium and then and then we challenge you or we don't challenge you but spirit spirit itself the universe the um, the collective challenges you in those ways so that you can use those spiritual gifts that you have been wanting and asking for and we say to you that that is a good thing it is a good thing it's not to be looked at negatively so if you are having challenges where you have to find that resource within you to overcome it and the positive thinking, the higher vibrations. How do I get out of this, this murky soup that I'm in of emotions? How do I move through this dynamic of, of collapse of jobs and relationships and, and homes and, and all the conflict and, and the battles that are going on right now? And we say to you, all of this has been placed before you and actually, in truth, you designed it to come into your life to make you stronger, to make you better, to make you uh, more awake, more alert, more in tuned, to be able to let go of the attachments, to be able to let go of the expectations, to be able to let go, let go, let go, so that you can step fully into the being. You are human being. And so we want you in that that energy. It is not to say you can't have experiences and that you can't welcome in certain outcomes that you desire because that would be part of your manifestation. But to let go of your attachment to that outcome is where we are at with you. We want you to let go of your attachment to the outcome. And we want you to let go of your attachment to how it gets to you. And we want you to let go of your attachment to whatever, ever, ever comes next. And as you are just putting out your heart's desire and being in the flow of how does that reach you? How does that get to you? And let it manifest, let it create, let it build. And then one day it's all just going to get slingshotted right for you, isn't it? And so as you are holding the vibration and the frequencies of this, this manifestation, this dream, this ability you want, this job that you have desired, this relationship you have desired, everything that you were asking for, it is all in, in the soup, in the brew, right? It is all part of the makeup that is happening, that is being created around you. And so we want you to pay attention to, to what it is that you have been asking for and how is the events in your life leading you to that? How is that getting you to that, getting you closer to it? And maybe it's not close enough yet for you to see how that connection is made. But we do want you to know that everything is working for you towards the thing that you desire. And so as you are working towards that thing, that feeling, that accomplishment that you desire, you are going to face the challenges that will help you shed the energy, the frequencies, the belief systems, and everything else that is not a vibrational match to that desire. You are on the journey. The quicker that you are becoming aware of 
how this is all falling into place for you, the quicker you'll move through that journey. So we are here to help and we are here to give you that information so that you can reflect, so that you can be in the energy. We know that you were tired. We know that you've been battling. We know that you have been up against the world and that you are at that point of exhaustion where you're saying, I give up, I surrender. I Maybe this isn't what I really wanted. Maybe this isn't what I really needed. Maybe there's something better out there for me. And we, we welcome that you are ready to surrender. But we want you also to remember that sometimes it is in that surrendering that the manifestation actually will be accomplished. And so we don't want to have you feel defeated. We don't want you to feel tired and exhausted. We don't want you out there feeling like, what's the point to life? That is not our, our goals with this at all or, or any goals at all. We know that you have the ability to step into and be empowered and become this bigger energy this big energy that is ready for expansion, that is ready for manifestation, but you have to know you are worthy and that you deserve it. And that is the journey that you are on. You are worthy, you deserve it. You are worthy and you deserve it. What is your, your desire? You are worthy and you deserve it. And you deserve to be loved the way you want to be loved. You, you deserve to have the financial security that you desire. You deserve to have the wonderful job that you love to go to every day. You deserve to have the relationships in your life that you desire, you deserve to have it. You just have to figure that out. We already know. We already know you deserve it. We already know that you are worthy and champions of this energy. But you have to know it. You have to believe it. And that is the goal, is that you are shedding all of these parts of you, all of the things that all of your fears are coming to surface and they're beating you over the head, aren't they? They are beating you over the head and they're saying, this is it. This is your biggest fear. This is the thing that you didn't want to have happen. This is the thing that you were worried about. Now it's here. It's here. Now you've got to face it. So we ask you to do that. We ask you to face it. We ask you to look at it. We ask you to love it, in fact. Love it. Thank you for showing up for me. Thank you for being my greatest teacher. Thank you for being my greatest teacher. You are the reflection of me that fear. Fears the outcome, fears success, fears loss, fears loneliness, fears sadness, fears hurt, fears pain. Whatever the fear is, whatever it is reflecting to you, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for showing me where I'm at. Thank you for showing me where my heart is, where my mind is, where my soul is, where my manifestation is, why it's where it is. Shift that mind. Shift the mind, shift the mind into a powerful, powerful thought. There was a conversation today, and we know that this is okay to share with the collective because it has been told to us that it was. There was a conversation today about the dark energies. The darker energies feeling like they are looming, like they are attached, like they are shadowing. And a lot of you are feeling that. A lot of you are feeling those energies coming around you and being heavy and draining you and you want to sleep and you want to just hide and you want to just give up and you want to give, walk away and you just want to be done with it all. And again, why bother? What is it, this all about anyway? Why even bother? And we say to you, like we said earlier today, there is more power in your finger. You are at the tip of your finger, in fact. There is more power, more light in the tip of your finger than that mountain you are complaining about, than that thing you are complaining about, than that shadow that is looming over you. So take the power that you hold within the fingertips of your very being and cast it away, be done with it, be done with the pain, be done with the sorrows, be done with it all, be done with being buried under this mountain of sadness, this mountain of, of hurt and pain and shame and guilt and frustration and, and hurt and sadness and anger, be done with it. Use the power of that light within you to call in the source energy within you, to call in your God power. You have the divine right to move that energy through you. You have the divine right to cut away at that energy that is draining your body, that is 
causing you the sadness, that is causing you the heaviness, that is causing you to want to retreat, use it. Use it now in this moment as you are listening to us. And maybe you listen to this video a few times. Use it to cut those cords to that energy. Use it to blow away and blast and fill with light the room you sit in, the body you are encompassing. Use that power, your divine right to be reflections of source energy that moves this energy off of you. Tell it no, you do not have permission to be here. This dark, heavy energy does not have permission to be here. It does not. The sadness, the sorrows, the heaviness on the chest, the throat, the mind, the shoulders, wherever you carry it, it does not have permission to be there. You say no right now and you bring that bright light in and you shine it through your whole body and you call in the God source energy within you and you empower yourself and you use that power that you were given. You do not hide from it anymore. You do not hide. You are powerful, you are amazing, you are wonderful. You deserve to have this power because you are loving, you are kind, you are nurturing, you are amazing. You reach out to people, you care about people. You're genuine, you're kind, your intentions are good. You deserve to be in this divine energy, the reflection of source. Live your best life by clearing this old pattern away. No, it no longer has permission to be there. No, it is not going to be in your energy field any longer. No, it does not get to just camp out. And you call it in, all is forgiven around this. Whatever this energy is, I call it in as forgiven. I call it in as forgiven and released into the light. I call it in as transmuted by source energy. I call it in as complete. I call contract complete. I call it clear. I call it clear in this moment and I call it clear in all moments, all time, all space. I clear this energy. This is a karmic, whatever this karmically is, it is complete. And I call it in as done and the energy is clear and I no longer need to carry this for me or anyone else. I call it in as clear and I reclaim my power. I reclaim my light. I reclaim my love for life. Everything in my life is lovable. Everything in my life is wonderful. I am setting the stage for my most beautiful dynamic life right now. And I call it in and I claim it. I claim my highest good. I claim the highest frequency available to me. I claim it into my life right now. I claim it in, I claim it in. And I set everything else free. I set it free with love and compassion. I set it free. If it is not a vibrational match to the love that I want to share with the world, I set it free. I let it come back to me when it is the right time. When the moment is right, if it is meant to be, it will come back. I set it free in this moment as I know that this moment carries a vibration and a frequency of healing. I know that this moment is here for me. I know that this moment is mine to reclaim myself to hold myself in the truest form and the truest light so I can be the best version of myself that I came here to be. I call it in, I call it in, I claim it. And so it is in the source and so it is in me and so it is in the world. And you feel that energy come in and it clears away all the darkness, all the shadows. We thank you for all the collectives that have come and gathered around us here. All those who are watching this video, and please share if you know somebody who needs this as well. All of those who are watching this video, the collectives are coming around you to clear this energy and to hold it away from you. And we call in the gatekeepers. We call in your gatekeepers. We call in our gatekeepers. The gatekeepers are the ones to hold and keep the frequencies in the highest vibration. Nothing may enter your auric field or your energy field unless it is of the highest and most and most wonderful vibration and the highest good for you. And we call that in as well. Your gatekeepers are here. They are present. We call them in as active and we ask them to remain here for the rest of your days. We ask them to remain and that is on you to call that in and ask for it to remain for the rest of your days because you have free will and they have to honor that. And so we ask you to call it in clear out all the old energy, all the old paradigms, all the old thought processes that have been surfacing and surfacing and surfacing. 
that hamster wheel, as Tracy calls it, that has been in the mind, occupying the mind, creating the stories, creating the outcomes of these stories, these stories that are not necessary, that are not true, that are not of the highest vibration. Step out of the illusion. Step out of the illusion. We know that this was part of the reading the other day, the five card pull. Step out of the illusion, quit creating out of this space of believing that something is true that is not true. You're creating out of a story that has been created for you. Just sit with the energy that is, that is true, that is factual, what it is. Get out of the past, get out of the story, get out of the creation of something that that is not serving you. It is time. It's time for you to move forward with this brilliant, beautiful source of light that is you. All the other energies have cleared away. They have drifted away. They're being transmuted as we speak, as we call in the angels, the guides, the councils to come in with the beautiful light. We like to use violet light, but if you like another color, that is great. We bring in the violet light with St. Germain to come in and clear the energy, to transmute the energy. We clear it in your homes. We call in this beautiful energy in your homes to come in and clear the homes of all the, the upsets and burdens and turmoils of the home, the sadness, the, the frustrations, the abuse, whatever it is, it is all being cleared away from the homes. We close all the portals that are of lower vibration. Only the highest vibrational vortexes may remain and only with your permission may they remain. You may have a meditation corner. You may have a prayer corner, whatever that might be for you. And if those are high vibrations, we do ask that if they are in the highest good, they may remain. If they are not being disrupted in the house, they may remain. All the other portals in the home, we ask that they be closed and removed from the home and brought to the highest good to the highest vibration available to them. We ask that all energies that are not a part of this home, that do not live in this home, all the imprints and energies of this home be cleared away in the highest and best good and the highest frequency possible. We thank you that everyone that is listening to this at their home has been touched by the light of source energy and the magic of that is moving through and all your prayers are being answered and your blessings are coming in. We call that in, we all agree, so it is. We call it into Tracy's home. We call it into your home. We call it into everyone's home. The loved ones, the people you care about, we call it into their homes as well. We want you to thrive. We want you to do well. We want you to feel good. We want you to be happy. That is how we all get there. There is no motive anywhere else for any other feeling. We want joy in your hearts. We want prayers to be answered. We want relief to come. Why would we have any other agenda but that? And so we say to you, with love and with kindness, we hope that your prayers are answered. We hope that everything you have ever wanted is coming into the, the heart in the fullest form and the highest vibration. Your prayers are answered. Your health is good. Your outlook on life is better than it's ever been before. You feel your blessings. You see your blessings. You feel your blessings. The miracles you have asked for are here for you now. And we call it in with you. And as we all agree, as a collective, and we all agree for everyone in this video that is listening to this video now, we all agree together as we lock in. It is time for us all to start banding together and create together in this way. The miracles are coming for each and every one of us, the miracles, the blessings. You will start to experience it as, as we say you will because the collective is agreeing on it. We are all agreeing on it. Yes, bring in this energy as, as the Christian culture might say, amen. Bring it in as we all agree, as we all agree for blessings to reach each and every one of you, as we all agree the miracles will reach each and every one of you. Your answered prayers are coming in. The blessings are coming in. Your joy is coming in. Your happiness is coming in. Your relief is coming in. Your health is coming in. It's here. It is here. It is here. It is here in this moment and this one and this one. And be in joy to receive it. Open your mind. Open your heart. Open your, your etherical body to receive the blessings, the joy, the rejuvenation, 
the booster, as we might say, of energy to keep you going, to keep you on board, to keep you here, to keep you loving your life, enjoying your life, enjoying the people around you. Your blessings are here. Your miracles are here. Your answered prayers are here. And with that, we will say, have a wonderful, wonderful week. We hope to come back again before the week is over, if the time allows. We thank you so much for being part of our journey. Don't forget to click like, Tracy says. Don't forget to click like and make comments. That always helps our videos get around. Share the videos if you feel it's necessary or it would be helpful for someone. There's so many out there suffering right now. Be the light in their life. Be the light in their life. Say something kind. Say something good. Say something encouraging. You are a blessing, and you are blessed, and we thank you. And until next time, we will give you Tracy. Okay, I know I needed that. That felt good. I feel a lot lighter. I hope you guys do too. I'm going to end the video there. I love you so much. All my information is down below if you want to look at more into my services. The links for that are below. Um, I will be working on a workshop coming up here. Uh, it, it is what do they say, culminating. It is in my mind and it's starting to come together. So once it comes together, then I'm gonna put it together and I'm gonna put it out there to all of you guys. I love you so much and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.